Hey, how's it going? S-Desk has released a new uh, release today. Uh, it was announced on the distro watch, so uh, we're going to load it up in a virtual machine, install it, and take a look at S-Desk. Now it says here that S-Desk is an Arch-based Linux distribution which strives for an easy-to-use, modern approach to desktop computing. The project's latest snapshot includes an updated copy of the Swirl browser and a number of improvements to the user's desktop experience. So uh, let's get over to the uh, virtual machine and install it real quick so we can take a look at S-Desk. Okay, I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like uh, the installer stopped abruptly, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat the process and try to do it all over again. Uh, if this doesn't work, then... Uh... Okay, and it looks like this time it installed correctly, so uh, I check the uh, Restart Now button, and I'm going to click on Done. See if we get a reboot out of this. So I still have the installer right here opened up on the desktop. I didn't close it down because I didn't want it to shut down the system. So it's still open right here. I just minimized it and I uh, fixed the screen resolution. So we can go ahead and just do a live CD overview. All right, so they just released a, a point. Uh, they just did a point release on this uh, snapshot. So we're going to take a look at it. And like I said, it's a S desk and it's an arch based system. So it looks like it's a modified GNOME uh, desktop with a panel on top and also have a panel on the bottom. So on the panel on top, you have a sister tray on the right, right here. And this is where you have your, uh, your power session, your uh, theme in, settings. So a lot of, a lot of options right here in your uh, system tray. And then in the middle is where we have our time and date. And if you click on the time and date, it opens up a calendar and notifications. And then over here on the left, it looks like it's a desktop switcher. So yeah, you just click on it and uh, you know, it'll open up, uh, you can go do different windows, different desktops. So yeah, it's, a, it's your activities desktop switcher. All right. And then on the bottom dock, it's a, uh, you know, you have your pinned applications. And then on the lower right, you have your Launchpad application launcher. So this is pretty much standard on GNOME. You'll see this on all GNOME systems. And from right here, you know, you get all your applications. You got contacts, weather, clocks, SSH, uh, server browser, maps, videos, calculators, your whole uh, fleet of standard applications. And then you have a second uh, page where you have some office, tour. I'm surprised the tour, oh yeah, well, it's insulation. So yeah, the tour won't open up. Only if it installs. And then once you boot up to the new section, that's when the tour opens up. And it even has boxes. And you have one right here that says utilities. So clicking on this one opens up another one that opens up more apps. So you have your disk usage analyzer, connection, disk. Document viewer, image viewer, characters, logs, and fonts. All right, so let's take a look at our system settings. And from here, we can see uh, other info. But right now, I just got it. It's, it opened up to the displays because that's the last portion that I used to fix the display. But we do have an about on here. So clicking on about just shows the system information. This shows us the system name right here, SDesk. And it shows us, uh, you know, our hardware, processor, memory, disk capability, capacity, and system details. So let me click on system details. And it opens up a pop window. And it's pretty much the same info, but with a little bit more, more details. So this is the first time I've ever seen a S-Desk. So this is the first look. But like I said, the installation failed, so we have to do a live CD overview. All right, then right here in your settings, you know, have a, you got network, Bluetooth, appearance, notification apps, sound, users, pretty much your whole, uh, your whole brew of uh, applications to uh, tune the system the way you like it. So if you want to change, uh, you know, your theme, you just click on appearance 
And that's you get to your themes and your wallpapers. And like I said, you got your sound options, your power options, display options, mouse and touchpad, keyboard, printers, everything that you need to control. It's right here in your system settings. Well, like I said, this is just a simple uh, live CD overview. It's not really uh, much to look at here. You do have some pen applications here. Let's see, we got Octopi, which would be our uh, software installer. But being it's a live CD, you know, there's no point in even opening it. Well, at least I can open it and show it to you, see what it looks like. And then next to that, we have files, which is our file manager. Then music, which is our music player. Then we have calendar, Gary, a mail reader, and then a swirl web browser. But a Pac-Man database is missing. You may need to synchronize databases. So basically what I got to do for that is uh, do the Pac-Man SY. <laughs> so let me open up a terminal. And do a sudo Pac-Man. S Y. And once the uh, database is uh, update, it should all work no problem. Alright, so let's say I wanted to look for HTOP. I can just click on here. I may have to restart it because we didn't get that area error at the beginning, so I'll do that. Go ahead and restart it again. Alright, did not get the error this time. There you go. Now I type in HTOP and there it is. Just click on it and there should be a, let me right click on it first. Install. Click on OK. Then I click the check mark. And I just click on yes. And it says installing selected packages. So right here is just going through the process to install it. It says command finished okay, so I'll go ahead and shut this down. And this is Octopi, of course. So uh, go back to the terminal. Uh, let me just type htar. Okay, there you have it. We're using 1.3 gigabytes and our average right here is a little bit well i wouldn't consider this high but usually i'm used to seeing zero dot whatever we're right here got 2.62 1.90 and 1.11 it's probably because i have the installer open and just minimized and we are running it on a live cd anyways i wanted to do a better overview on this but like i said uh, the installer failed two times so all i could do is a live cd overview but uh I don't know, maybe it's something on my system for the failure. So just in case, I'll go ahead and I'll leave the uh, homepage and uh, download link in the video description. So if you want to take a look at it and test it out yourself, you have that option. All right, but that's going to do it for me on this one. And I'm out.